Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Museum. I talked about it in the last episode, and the episode before, I can't remember. Talked about it in, uh, in a episode, anyway. Recently, about how I was going to the dentist. Like, the last two episodes got mixed up, okay? I don't know what, I don't know what the heck happened to them. They got mixed up. That was like a lineup of Zeds, that was pretty cool. Um... But anyway, in one of the last two episodes, I discussed going to the dentist today and uh, how excited I was for, for being able to go and get myself a nice checkup and stuff and, and you know, see how everything's going on up in the in the mouth area. And, uh, yeah, I got to go. I didn't really want to. I woke up at 9 a.m. for this. It was at 11 a.m. I had to go and... Well, you gotta get up. You gotta motivate yourself to get out of bed, so you have to allocate time for, for that. I mean, I do anyway. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. Hold up. Something like that, maybe. Uh, you gotta motivate yourself to get up, so you gotta allocate time towards that. Um, and then I gotta poop, you know, so you gotta allocate time for that. I gotta have time to relax, so you gotta have some time for that, and you gotta shower, you gotta shave, do your hair, put on your clothes, get to the place, and they want you there 10 minutes early because of uh, COVID and all that. So, uh, got up at 9 a.m., had to be there for 11, so 10.50. Um, ended up being about 15 minutes earlier than I had to be, which is, you know, what I would like to be. I like being early when I go someplace. Even like if they want me there 10 minutes early, I'm gonna be there earlier than that. Even I waited in my car rather than going in until uh, 10 minutes before. But you know, you never know. Maybe your car has issues. Maybe there's an accident. Maybe you get into an accident. You know, never know, right? Like anything can anything can happen. You wanna you wanna make sure that you have some some time allocated to to such an emergency or a happening. You know. Uh no. So, uh, anyway, I got there like 15 minutes early, waited in my car until it was time to go in, and then I, uh, I went in and got my, my teeth cleaned. Now, they're not doing any kind of, um, like, they normally go in with, like, a uh, water jet thing to, like, clean up all of the stuff and, like, just hammer it all down, you know, get rid of it as much as they can. It's, it's a more efficient, like, quicker way to... To handle it and then they take the, the spike or whatever to go in for the more you know detail work right um they're not doing that because of uh covid you, know, you got to reduce the the amount of stuff that's coming out of your mouth um so they were just doing the uh the, the metal scraping bit um and then uh it was like it was a different experience because they normally you know your mouth is open and then they uh they spray water into your mouth and uh, Perfect. Pod is open again. then they pull out the vacuum thingy and suck all the water out of your mouth and then you're like all right close and open you know like that whole process that whole rigmarole i'm not falling for it this time oh i fell for it i fell for it uh that whole rigmarole right um but this time they like point the water gun thing at where they want the water to go and then you have to close your mouth then they spray it and you're holding the the vacuum so then you suck the water out of your mouth yourself um, also that you know to keep the the hygienists and the dentists and all them as, as safe as they can be because you know particularly right now in this current climate you know, even even normally it's a fairly high risk job honestly um, but you know especially right now during a pandemic it's like you know, probably one of the more dangerous jobs you can get, really. Um, so I got to the I got to the store. Actually, we'll, we'll start there. Yeah, um, I got to the store, or not the store, the the dentist. The store, the store. I got to the dentist, and uh, you're gonna get stuck there, huh? No, you're not. I got to the dentist, and they had a a sign outside telling me to wait for um, somebody to come get me. And somebody came out like immediately as I got there, so I'm like, okay. I didn't think that they were like 
<laughs> staff. Um, not because they looked, you know, unprofessional or whatever. I, I just wasn't expecting them to not say anything. They just like approached me and then they were like standing there. So I like moved out of the way and then they started talking to me. I'm like, I don't know, you could have could have said something as you approached. Um, <laughs> and just make make some of that anxiety go away, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, they they ended up taking my temperature with the little temperature gun so it doesn't actually have to touch me. And then uh, the, the first temperature gun that the poor girl brought out wasn't working. It was uh, faulty, it seems. The battery's probably dead or something, right? Um, either the battery was dead or, or maybe it was faulty. It was, it was saying that I had like a deathly fever and she's like, I'm just gonna double check that. But I didn't, she wasn't a very communicative individual, we'll say. I don't know if that's a real word, but it is now. Um, I just made it. That's how that's how language works. I'm allowed to do that. I'm allowed to just make a word and say that this is what it means. I'm, al I'm allowed to do that. Um, so anyway, uh, she wasn't the you know the the best at communicating the uh, the happenings, right? Um, so I, I don't know what was happening with it, but she went and grabbed a new one, and then took my temperature again. I assume you don't always have to take both temperatures. Because otherwise, you would have just brought out both of the, the guns at the same time, right? That would have made the most sense if that was the case. So, I'm assuming something was wrong with it and she had to get a new one. Is my uh, assumption. Anyway, so she had to go and grab the gun. The next gun. And then, uh, take my temperature with that. And, uh, I guess I passed the temperature test. So, I was allowed in. We had this, like, clipboard thing that I had to fill out. This, like, thing. Signing all the, the stuff on it, saying, you know, hey, I'm okay with uh, coming to the dentist. I recognize that uh, it's like putting me at high risk of uh, catching something as a result of going to the dentist because it's like a very, you know, try as you might. It's it's a place where COVID gets transmitted, you know. Um, so, uh, you know, I had to sign all that and had to sign saying that I'm a... Uh, I, I don't have any symptoms or anything like that. I'm not, you know, at high risk or whatever, blah, 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 right? So I signed that and they took it. And then uh, the hygienist came out, same one I always get. I like her, she's nice. But she was in like full scrubs, you know, with the, with the masks on and then, you know, hair tied up and the gloves like she was in, you know, hazmat suit basically, right? Which is, is what needs to happen to, to keep them safe, of course. But yeah, it was it was interesting to see. And then they brought us, uh, they brought me into the room. I sat on the chair, you know, as you do. And then in the dentist office, I sat down on the little chair thingy. Uh, she instructed me to take my mask off, and then we got sanitizer to sanitize the hands after I took my mask off. Um, I want I want to be up here. I wish to be down here. I want to be right here. This this is where we're gonna make our stand, okay? This is this this will work. This will work. This will work. Yeah, I knew it would work. I was confident. Were you confident? Come on, come on. Oh, we were like so close. I don't know, just spray. We were so close. Oh, that one sucked. We're not gonna be able to make another commitment to uh, tanking unless we get another armor. Unless we get an armor somewhere. We'll have to dodge the bullets. Where's the Urius? Uh, so anyway, they, they sat me down on the chair. Instructed to take my mask off. I got to sanitize my hands. We can tank it back here though, this is fine. Got to sanitize my hands and all that, and uh, then, like I said, it was a very different experience. They didn't get all of the uh, the cleaning done for it. I guess they didn't have the time for it or whatever. Um, there's still a couple of bits of it. Like I said, my oral hygiene wasn't necessarily the great early, the greatest earlier this year, so I'm sure there was, you know, ample amounts of work to be done. Um, 
but uh, they weren't able to get all of it off. My teeth feel, at this point, two front teeth feel kind of weird. There's like this uh, sharp pointy bit on them right now, which is uh, super, super unpleasant. It'll go away in a couple of days, so I'll get used to it or whatever, but there's like, I don't know, some kind of some kind of something or other that's kind of like poking at my tongue and I keep like fiddling with it. It's real bad. <laughs> I'll get used to it soon, but it's uh, it's annoying for right now. Uh, the whole thing went over. We my my dentist wasn't there, so we had a replacement dentist come up for the like checkup thing. So he comes in, he introduces himself. Never seen him before. He's never seen me before. So we got to you know chat a little bit about each other and, and kind of you know brief moment. I don't really care for the small talk, but it's uh, you know you got to be friendly and stuff. You want them to come back, <laughs> right? So. Um, you know, he had to be friendly to me, and I, I don't want to, you know, be rude to them, so I'm not going to be just like, hey, small talk doesn't really matter, just like get stuff over with. Um, I had a couple of questions. I always love talking to, to dentists or met like an eye doctor or something like that. I love I love talking to them because it's just, it's fascinating. And I, I, I don't ask, every, like, I, I, oh, I, 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 there, I have, I have a million questions that I could ask, you know, dentists and doctors and... Um, eye doctors and all, all of the all of the people I go to for for, for anything I, I have a you know million questions that I could ask them you know um, but I always I limited it I limited it to, to maybe one or two questions one or two topics to kind of uh, briefly you know kind of touch on because a doctor's time is valuable right a doctor's time is very very valuable um, them losing like a couple of minutes here or there is 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 a bigger deal than it might seem um, where are you? What are we here for, Just Jill? because, you know, you got, uh, you know, I, I end up taking up their time for five minutes. You know, I'm late, five, if I'm five minutes late, right, so now they're five minutes late, uh, and then they can't get started for five minutes, and it throws off, like, a room schedule, and so somebody's not able to, you know, get a cleaning done that they have to get that done day or something like that, or they have to rush through it or, like, cancel something a little bit early, like, I had to be canceled a little bit before everything was completely finished up kind of thing you know and like it just it kind of like spirals out of control and it's this whole thing just because like five minutes was wasted earlier on right so you don't want to sit there and be like all right uh mister what was your name again yes yes we have uh this huge list of you know, flipping through all your papers no 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 <laughs> you gotta you gotta respect their time a little bit right but at the same time it is uh, it is very fascinating stuff so i always uh always take a couple of questions in when i uh when i go in today though um Nothing, nothing, no, no questions today. It was a, it was a dentist that I didn't know, and uh, yeah, I just I talked to the um, the hygienist instead, who also has uh, plenty of knowledge that I can learn from. I love learning things for anything, you know, just just knowing bits and pieces about how stuff works, you know. I got some, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, insider info, you know. On, uh, on on what it's like to be a dental hygienist in in that office anyway, which I think is valuable. Not because I can use it against them, but just because the information in itself is is a valuable thing. Anyway, so they have the uh, I don't know if you have this at uh, your dental office that you go to, um, but you get you get the X-rays right. So we had an X-ray today, and they're in this like cabinet with the with the computer. And the cabinet can close, and on the other side of the cabinet is, like, another cabinet door into another room. So, you know, you can have people on one side and then get an x-ray, and then you can just spin it around, and the people on the other side can get an x-ray and use that computer and all that, right? And growing up, I always thought that that was fascinating. I'm like, yeah, it's, like, just a really cool cost-saving measure, because how often are you really going to have people in both rooms you know you have like so many rooms you can just make sure that they're all spaced out enough such that uh, I suggest you purchase armor. you're able to kind of make that work right so I mentioned that to uh, to her I'm like I always found this really cool you know that you can just spin the computer around and have it on the other room just bippity boppity boop you know and uh, apparently it's like a major pain in the butt sometimes when you have people who do happen to be in both rooms because it just happens to be that way this time um, and then uh, both sides have to have an x-ray and both sides need to have a dentist sit down and talk about the x-rays 
Because then you have to, like, you know, my x-ray is up. You can't show my x-ray to the other um, person there, right? You can't you can't be showing my personal details to, to, the, to the person in the other room, so you have to make sure that that's all hidden, and then open up the other one, and yada, yada, yada. And it's like just a major pain in the butt so what that dentist's office has done is uh is started to put individual x-rays into each of them but they don't have the space for this room it's the smallest room in the uh in the office apparently uh, so they had to have the the double thing which also is is, is a cool use of, of space to, to save space like that you know cost saving measure and space saving measure right which i think is uh, is pretty cool so that was what i learned today that was what i gleaned from it I didn't want to bother the dentist that I'd never seen with, uh, you know, especially since today was a day when they did have to have the dentist come in and talk on both sides, and both sides were getting an x-ray. She was like, yeah, oh, uh, like today. <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, a nice example of, uh, of what it's like to have to put up with that. Um... So I was like, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to bother the poor dentist. <laughs> he's he's got enough stuff going on right now. My my couple of questions aren't uh, aren't too important. I love asking about the X-rays though. You know, just looking at an X-ray and being like, you know, what 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 is this? Like, what are we looking at here? You know, what's what's the cavities and what's the what's the you know what's what's showing up on this? Like, what what are all these? Because I can see the teeth, but you know, there's white bits, there's darker bits, there's like. Like, how are you reading this? What's it, what's it all mean, you know? But, I didn't really want to go over that today. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, kind of budget your questions to, to when it seems like it might be uh, okay to, to do. And today, didn't didn't seem like it was okay to, to, to really ask too many questions. They'll never, then they'll, 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 uh, you know, if you're asking, like, a stupid question that's just, like, yeah, I don't really have, like, the hour to sit here and explain it to you, they'll, they'll be like, ah, eh, you know, it's, you know, we don't really have the time to go over that and give you, like, maybe a, a brief explanation of, of what it is, you know, but by and large, if you ask a question, they're not really gonna be like, yeah, we don't have, we don't answer questions here, you know? <laughs> they're, they're largely, you know, they got into this because they like it, they like talking about it. Um, now that's bullet time. you just, you gotta... Make sure that you're not wasting their time too much. It's important. You know the other people have time to, to have dentists and doctors and everybody working on them as well, right? So, anyway, um, we finished up. I got to put my mask back on, and then uh, more hand sanitizer after the mask was back on. And then uh, we left. I had uh, I had one cavity. It was, uh, so the last time that I went to a dentist was last March. It was, it's been a year and a half since I last had a, uh, a cleaning. And last March, they said that there was not a cavity, but, like, two teeth that were, like, really, really close to each other that were, uh, likely to develop into a cavity that they wanted to keep their eyes on. And, uh, this time they're like, yeah, so it, it did. <laughs> it, it did make a cavity. Um, apparently it's nothing major right now. It's, it's, it's like a pretty, you know, small thing, but a cavity is a cavity. You can't just leave a cavity because it'll, it'll become a bigger cavity. You know, that's how they, they work. Um, so I'll have to get that filled in February. Just when we set up the appointment. And I got my, uh, my other cleaning to, to finish up the work then. And then it's, uh, you know, every six months. The cleaning is what I like to do generally. Twice a year. Get in there, get uh, all the plaque or tartar or whatever kind of nonsense is, is on teeth or whatever. Get it off. Keep the teeth good. Make sure your gum health is all good. Check for, I don't know, lesions, sores, ulcers. All that. I got one cavity. I got one cavity to go and uh, fix up. I've had cavity fillings before. It's not a pleasurable experience <laughs> by any means, but it's not that bad. Yeah, let me. Oh no! I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted. I wanted to do the, the thing. I wanted to goomba stomp him. Um, it's not that bad to get a cavity filling, in my opinion. It's bad if you don't have anesthesia, like local anesthesia. Um, but as long as you do, it's it's really just not that big a deal. 
And I have had, uh, not with, I've had uh, a feeling done, not with no local anesthesia, but with not enough. <laughs> um, had to had to pull them off and be like, yo, that anesthesia. Oh, we're just backed into just a straight up corner here, hey? That's cool. Doesn't matter because it's Hans. So like, what 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 are you gonna do about it? Um, yeah, not with uh, not with no local anesthesia, but it was a very painful, very very painful experience. Um, but it's it's mostly just like boring. Because what ends up happening is you get your your doctor, and you get your nurse, and you're lying down or not your nurse, your hygienist, and you get your lying down. I was thinking of like a surgery. Um, you get your uh, you're lying down in the bed in the, in the chair thingy, and then they're like you know sitting over you, looking in your mouth and stuff, and then they're talking about you know the last TV show that they've been watching or whatever. Because you you can't talk, you can't be a part of the conversation, so they're gonna talk about whatever they want. You know, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just bored. <laughs> I'm just bored. But what can you do? You got to get your cavity filled, right? You can't not get it filled. If you want to have teeth, you got to get it filled, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like, subscribe, see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,